I've got the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro, which is also known as the Poco F2 Pro. And today I want to show you how to root this device with Majisk. So what we're going to be starting with today is just a simple device that has only been bootloader unlocked. I have previously shown how to install TWRP and then root the device with Majisk. So if you want to do that method instead, I'll link that tutorial in the video description. But not everybody wants to use TWRP. Not everybody wants to use a custom recovery. So today I want to show you how to just root the device with Majisk. To do that, we need to download the Majisk Manager APK file. And I get this just by going to Google and searching for Majisk GitHub. And I download the APK directly from the developer's GitHub page. That is the official and only official source for this at this moment. After we have sideloaded it, we don't need to open it right now. Instead, we need to download the firmware that we are currently running on our device. And I use a website called xiaomifirmwareupdater.com. I'm going to be linking that in the video description as well. So let me show you how to download that and then extract the boot image file so that we can patch it in Majisk. So the page I'm going to link to is going to be directly for this specific device. And what you need to do is you need to make sure that you match the current firmware you're running. If you're on the global, make sure that you grab the global. If you're on the Russian, make sure you grab that one. But you also need to make sure that it's matching the same MIUI version and build number that you're currently running on your device. It needs to match because the boot image needs to be compatible with your specific install. So a big example is if you try to install a Android 11 patched boot image on an Android 10 build, it's going to boot loop. So again, make sure the MIUI version and the build number, which is those letters, matches what's on your device in the about phone section. So once you have downloaded that, you're going to extract that file into a either another file or a folder. When you continue to go into those folders, you're eventually going to find a boot.img file. This is the kernel, the boot image. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to copy it from the smart or from the PC to the smartphone, to the Poco F2 Pro or the Redmi K30 Pro, whichever you're currently running. Once you have copied that boot image to the smartphone, then we can go ahead and open up Majisk. And you're going to look at the top area right here. You should see an install button on the right. We're going to tap on install. We're going to tap on the install option again. And then we're going to tap the select and patch a file option. If you get this prompt to allow for storage access, just allow it. And then from here, you need to browse to wherever you put that file. So I simply just put it in the downloads folder. I'm sorry, put it in the test folder in the downloads folder. So once I find that boot image file, we just tap it. And you're going to see the Majisk Manager application start spitting out some text up at the top. It's basically showing you how it's patching that boot image to insert the Majisk binary. And that's how we gain root access, is we're putting this Majisk binary in the kernel. 
Now you do see a reboot button down there, but we don't need to tap that. Instead we need to, you can see it, output it a file in the download folder and labeled it Magisk underscore patched. So we need to connect the phone back to the PC with a USB cable and we need to copy that file from the phone to our PC because we need to flash that file over USB while this device is in fastboot mode. Once we have copied that file from the phone back to our PC, we can then go ahead and shut down the device. We need to boot the phone into fastboot mode. I've done a separate tutorial showing how to manually boot into fastboot mode. And again, I'll be linking that in the video description in case you're not exactly aware, aware of how to do that. We're just holding the power and volume down buttons during the boot cycle. Once the device has been booted back into fast boot mode, we can then connect it back to the PC with a USB cable. And if some devices have issues booting into fast boot mode when there's a USB cable connected, so I always just be sure to un plug that before doing it. And now we're going to need to open up a command prompt or Windows PowerShell or even a terminal on our PC and use fastboot to flash that file back. All right, we have our Redmi K30 Pro or Poco F2 Pro in fastboot mode. We have it connected to the PC with the USB cable. I've gone ahead and opened up the folder for our minimal ADB and Fastboot tool install just needs to be wherever your ADB and Fastboot tools are in the ADB EXE Fastboot.exe and I have copy and pasted that Magisk underscore patched file that I grabbed from the phone and I put it in the same folder as that Fastboot fold that Fastboot file I can then go ahead and open up the minimal ADB shortcut to bring us right into the same folder and the command is fast boot space flash space boot space magisk underscore patched dot img once you have typed that out we can just press enter on the keyboard you should see that it has sent that file to the boot partition and it has wrote that file to the boot partition and you should get two OK messages to the right. With that done, you are now rooted. We can hold the power button down to force the device to reboot if you want. Or you could type out fastboot space reboot and press enter. Whichever method you go with, you're going to see the device start to reboot. And the boot cycle should be normal. You'll see the boot animation. It'll take you right into MIUI. And you can even go ahead and open up Magisk to make sure that you have a green check mark up there at the top left to make sure that it Magisk is currently installed. And you can do a swipe down to refresh. I know Magisk Manager is going to get an update to the user interface soon, so your Magisk Manager might not look like this, but you should still get a some, tor some type of indicator telling you whether it is installed or not. And that is how to root the Redmi K30 Pro as well as how to root the Poco F2 Pro.